My topic uh, uh, will be connected to, with my main research. Uh, my research is devoted uh, to uh, studying uh, painting programs of uh, uh, monumental church painting in uh, uh, Orthodox churches from the Eastern Ukraine. And uh, uh, this, uh, my speech is about monumental church painting and uh, contemplation in the light of modern influences of visual culture. Uh, the main questions are how we are affected by what we direct our attention to, how does what we see affect our inner world, and does monumental church painting always promote contemplation? Uh, you know that uh, the emergence of new trends in modern monumental church painting was influenced by visual culture. The culture of the beginning of the 21st century is predominantly described as visual. Modern visual research is a new field for studying the cultural construction of the visual in the art, media, and everyday life. Despite the fact that culture has always had a visual component, the shift in emphasis towards the growing importance of the visual is due to the hyper-development and intensification of visual technologies, the spread of photography and television. And at the turn of the 20th, 21st centuries, the emergence of new digital technologies and the internet. The interpenetration of various types of fine arts and new digital technologies have provided new opportunities for expression in culture. And uh, analyzing the phenomena of visual culture, William Mitchell interprets the influx of images inherent in modernity as a pictorial turn and notes that the bias towards uh, the visual, there is some return to the mythology of technologically advanced cultures. Roland Barthes, in turn, believes that mythology is created by man in order to give meaning to the world around him. And uh, the visual tone was also reflected in uh, monumental church painting. For example, in the 21st century, murals of Orthodox churches in the 3D style began to appear, including uh, on the territory of Ukraine. Uh, for example, the Holy Intercession Church in the village of Nova Alexandrovka, Dnepropetrovsk region, is painted in this style. Uh, the temple is painted in the Baroque style, and iconographic images are given volume, so people and uh, the world are presented in three-dimensional space. It should be noted that sometimes the 3D effect is used to increase the space, but the saints are not depicted in volume, but in the canonical Byzantine style. Thus, the painting remains canonical. Modern innovations in monumental art concern the form, but do not affect the essence. And uh, um, as a result, uh, the dominance of new means of communication changes the essence of perception, which ultimately leads to a change, a change in ideas about reality. In other words, the essential effects of technology are not reduced to direct sensory influences, but affect our entire perception of the world. Plotinus quite unsignfully said about this, every soul is and becomes what it contemplates. On the significance of the iconic tone for the perception of reality, Valery Savchuk writes that surrounding ourselves with images, we are numb before the image, we communicate with image, we finally think in images. 
forgetting about the linguistic nature of reality. And according to the results of a study of visual rotation conducted by Valery Stavchuk, the iconic rotation shifts the focus of attention from what the image represents beside itself, itself or, or rather through itself, to what it represents. In other words, the image has a structure, a construction, and it has cultural mechanism of formation and conditions of existence. The study by uh, Ryutov states uh, that uh, the significance of the visual tone lies in fundamental role of the visual image in the construction of reality and the increasing uh, theoretical interest in the latter. Based on the constructions made by Roland Barthes and uh, uh, Valery Savchuk, it can be assumed that the reason for the emergence of uh, monumental church painting in the 3D style is the desire to attach spatial or greater importance rather to visual iconographic images themselves than to the ideas to which these images refer. The iconographic plots used in the painting of an Orthodox church are largely based not only on the text of the Holy scriptures, but uh, also on uh, hymnography or uh, liturgical texts. The Byzantine icon painting styles is characterized by an emphasis on the internal rather than the external. The style is not characterized by abstract forms. The images convey joy, light, and Easter festive mood. They lack tragedy and even drama. Images painted in the Byzantine style are characterized by contemplation, concentration of mind, calm, lack of dynamism, self-absorption and withdrawal into the inner world. The divine presence is reflected in them, so they are often motionless, pillar-shaped or even candle-shaped. Uh, in the iconographic composition of the Byzantine style, there are no sharp movements or intense gestures, since in everything the internal was valued, not the momentary. The images are timeless and spaceless. Reverse perspective is inherent in the Byzantine style in monumental church painting as religious art. Thanks to its perception, the invisible, the background, becomes the main thing. That is the sacred, uh, which by uh, its nature is invisible, manifests itself. Thanks to the use of the reverse perspective, consciousness begins to capture with, uh, what cannot be clearly and logically realized. The main goal of uh, icon painting is to transform reality, uh, reorganize space, bringing it to a higher level of integrity. And uh, the transition from two-dimensional to three-dimensional space in church painting can be interpreted as emphasizing the importance of the inner space of the Orthodox Church itself and a greater sacralization of this space. That is, there is a, a certain transition from the perception of the temple as a symbol of heaven on earth to the approval of, of its, its sacralization. To some extent, there is also a transfer of the object of faith from the invisible world to the visible. And the use of 3, uh, 3D style in uh, temple murals, on the one hand, is due to the desire to give greater meaning to iconographic images and plots. But on the other hand, uh, it ties uh, the viewer's attention to these images themselves, transferring from the speculative to the visual. 
reducing the symbolic level inherent uh, in icon painting uh, may contribute to a return to the pagan perception of the temple. This means that people consider uh, the walls of the temple themselves to be sacred, forgetting that God is invisible and transcended to this visible world. Thus, we see that the use of particular sty style in the painting of an Orthodox church can affect not only the perception of the images themselves, but also the formation of the world view of the person in the church. And uh, thank you for your attention.